O slash if you want a Sims in Bloom legacy recap, because we have a lot to talk about. Today is a big day. We're starting Gen 2, like, officially. We still have a couple things we have to finish with Petal as well, so it's kind of be a little bit of overlap, but I think today, officially, Forest is our heir. So, last we left off, this is our heir Petal, oh, no. or our founder Petal. It worked. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Oh, pick me still on the screen. Oh, I got it. Thank you. Oh, now it went off twice. The bot is so random. Um, okay, but Petal is having a midlife crisis, you guys. And her midlife crisis, we already did one of the things, and it was have a new love. Because Kyle Kyleson literally just asked to move into our family, and chat voted yes. So Kyle lives with us now. And then Petal had that midlife crisis shortly after. So I took that as Petal wants to fall in love with Kyle Kyleson. Because why else would why else would that have happened? Like, I keep trying to avoid Kyle Kyleson, but he keeps weaseling his way into the family. So we already had another affair with Kyle. We fell in love with Kyle. And now Petal wants to get divorced from Everett and marry Kyle. Like... There's a lot going on, so we have to deal with that today, along with starting Gen 2 with our heir Forest. This is Forest. Forest uses they, them pronouns, and Forest is going to be a veterinarian. So honestly, we could spend a lot of today working on the, the build, because we have 75,000 simoleons to work on a vet office slash home for Forest. So I think maybe we'll start with a little bit of gameplay and then start the build. Because Forrest needs to move out, basically. But I think we're bringing Petal with us. Because we still have to finish a couple things with Petal. Uh, like getting... We have to get promoted one more time. So, yeah. And get our skills up. Uh, did Aster move out? Yeah, Aster moved out. He moved out with Shower Chloe into this house we built the other day for them. So, Aster and Shower Chloe live here with their twins. They had twins! Oh my god, you guys. Yeah, so they had twins. The twins' names are Matthias and Kaylee. And I gave them little uh I gave them little infant makeovers. So uh we we have grandchildren, Matthias and Kaylee. Because we had babies with shower Chloe. This is shower Chloe, by the way. Yeah, there's a lot of drama. There's a lot of tea in this family. I think there are some rules about taking money to the next generation, but I've decided that I don't care because if I don't take money to the next generation, um, we're not going to have a vet office. So I don't really understand, like, what the point is. You know what I mean? Because a vet office costs a decent chunk of money because we have to get all the equipment and stuff. So I just wouldn't be able to play as a vet until we got a bunch of money, which would take a lot of time. So I'm deciding that we're going to just have a vet office. Also, we won the lottery day one, so we can just pretend we have lottery money in the bank. You know what I mean? <sighs> so yeah. Where did the dad move to? Who, Everett? Everett's here. Everett's still in the family. Why are lines missing in family trees when clicking on someone with grandkids? I don't know. It's happening to me and I, I feel like it's a bug. I don't know. It doesn't bother me too much. I gave myself the vet office and then set my money to a thousand. That's fun. Glad you figured out something that works for you. Oh, hi. Are you back? She's in a mood today. I don't know what's wrong with her. Olivia. Olivia's been, like, restless today and very needy. Like, she constantly wants brushes or scritches or wants to be let out. Then she wants back in. It's a lot. <laughs> also, thanks for redeeming scritches for Olivia. Come here. Get your scritches. And thanks for the follow. Welcome in. More scritches for Olivia. Okay, Forrest, can you repair this? We need to get your handiness skill up. Yeah, she's cheating in the same household. It's bad. They go and hang out at nighttime by the dumpster. And Forrest actually caught them last night in the act. So it was, like, really bad. 
Why are you up for us? Wait a second. I just realized you haven't slept through the night. And Kyle's awake now, too. Oh, my God. <gasps> Thank you for the resub, Deirdre. I appreciate it. Welcome back. So, yeah, there's there's a lot of tea going on in this household. She's not dating Kyle. She's cheating on Everett with Kyle, though, because she wanted to. She got a midlife crisis. So there's a lot of tea. Also, thank you for redeeming scritches for Olivia. Thank you so much. Your cat's wilding today, too. Maybe it's the full moon. Yeah, maybe that's it. Not Everett waking up flirty. Oh, God. If only you knew what was going on behind your back, Everett. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, it's so sad. Okay, hi, I'm awake. Do you want attention? Not you wanting attention, too. These are forest cats, though, so I feel like they should probably get to know their cats a little bit better. We're brushing our cats. My Sims and Bloom founder's husband died in a fire and she immediately had a midlife crisis for a job change to try new things. Oh, no. That does not sound ideal at all, actually. Oh, yeah, it's Forrest's birthday today. Oh, that's why we were going to start Gen 2 today, because they're they're aging up into a young adult. That's exciting. My Sims, you know, my Sims are constantly getting burnout, too. It's definitely not just a you thing. I feel like the burnout is a little too frequent. Is anyone else having that issue? No worries, Leia. Enjoy the body doubling. Everyone wants Everett, Petal, and uh, Kyle to be a thruple, which I'm totally down for, except you guys have to remember that Everett got very insecure and was not for it because Everett had a fear of being cheated on. So I think because he got a fear of being cheated on, he does in fact not want to be a thruple. <laughs> if he didn't get that fear, I probably would have been all for it. But... um. That was a whole fiasco we had to work through before we eloped in front of Agnes Crumplebottom, who then crumplebottomed us. I remember the crumplebottoming. Can we clean this? Everett is loyal, too. Yeah. How much do we care about what Everett wants? Oh my god, you guys! Look. <sighs> we can't just be mean to Everett. <laughs> Y'all are so mean to him. Do I not have a cake in here? Uh-oh. Well, that is unfortunate. I think we'll have Forrest make their own cake. Oh my gosh! Thank you for the first time sub from Hey Shay J. Welcome in. Enjoy your emotes and ad free viewing. But most importantly, enjoy your new smile chat. You know what that means. Let's go. Also, Forrest has a couple of death flowers in their inventory that I think we're going to try to grow. Oh, and they were given a voodoo doll. We were going to attach this to our brother. What if we... Okay, I have I have some big tea. Here's, here's what I'm thinking. Forest, arrow ace cannon. However, I think Forest also has a fear of relationships in general because growing up, they caught their mom cheating on their dad with kyle so that's why they're non-committal because they've seen infidelity in the family growing up so maybe they have some tea like some drama with kyle and they want to like voodoo doll kyle do you think i think that makes a lot of sense we were given this voodoo doll by a dark animatronic in the in the ride I like that. I like that drama. We're going to bind our voodoo doll to Kyle. Also, they got bullied severely growing up by their siblings. Like, no one was ever nice to Forrest. So, you can skip school today, by the way. You're not going. I'm having you age up. It's what Kyle deserves. Honestly, it is. It truly is what Kyle deserves. Also, don't forget Kyle nearly let Forrest burn to death. That too. That happened too. Kyle has been nothing. Oh no. You're contemplating your life. Yeah, you probably should do that a little bit. Honestly, Petal, you're a bad person. 
Is that Kyle in there? No, that's your daughter. Don't go in there. That's why he just, or that's why they just want to have one child. Yeah, they're only going to have one child. It's going to be a science baby, by the way. We just have to find somebody to have the science baby with. Oh my god. Thumbnail material. Oh. Oh, you're like evil laughing. Okay, Forest has a dark side. Interesting. <laughs> also, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. All right. Uh, send all students alone, except for you. Skip school. Uh, and make a wish. They're going to blow out the candles. A bit of aster shining through there. Yeah. Uh-oh, our cat is sick. Bumble Borpna. Let me get a cute little picture of you. Look at our little air blowing out the candles. I think I'm only going to have Forrest have one kid, you guys. Especially if we're going to be a vet. It seems like I don't want to have to take care of a lot of kids. Okay, what's the last trait we need? Is it non-committal? Yeah, it is. And we need to be... Uh, ooh, I should probably just check. Uh, Sims in Bloom. Oh, is it unflirty? Let's let's just look right here. I need unflirty friend of the animals. Okay. There we go. We graduated with honors too. That's pretty exciting. Borp na humble borp na boo. Okay. Very exciting. Non-committal is the base game version. Gotcha, gotcha. Oops, I had the wrong sim selected. We're proud of you. You're old now. I should probably get a picture of Petal and Forest together, huh? Stop. Stop! No! Everett's in the other room! Not them going out of the room to kiss and then coming in like nothing just happened. <laughs> oh no, Everett's going to work right now too. Oh god, okay, so is Kyle, that's fine. <laughs> so toxic! Hi, Sathalyn. We're not having a Kyle oopsie baby. We're not. Okay, I need you to change your outfit. I want you to take a picture with, um, with Forrest. And I want it to be really cute. Forrest, can you... I actually need to, like, change Forrest's outfits a little bit now that we know Forrest is going to be the heir. We need to go through their wardrobe and, like, make it more Blossom vibes. Kyle doesn't work. Yeah, Kyle does. Kyle works an office job. No, Petal, go take a picture with your with your child, please. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, not the best background, honestly. It's fine. No, don't do that. You're not in love. You're literally mother and child. 
Don't do that. What made me pick Forest as the heir? Uh, chat voted on Forest being the heir. So it was actually chat. Why won't you do any other poses? Not the dead cow. <gasps> dead cow plant! How did I just realize that that's... Our cow plant is dead! <laughs> Wait, if I... <laughs> oh my god, rip to a real one. Mushu will be missed. <laughs> yeah, can someone clip that? That was pretty funny. Um, <laughs> Too occupied with Kyle to notice, I guess. I guess. Rip to a real one. I can't believe this. All right, we're just getting some pictures with our, our mother. Okay, stop. Y'all are too cute. All right, those were nice. The cow plant is a metaphor for Petal and Everett's marriage. Oh my god. Not the metaphor. I think that one was Mufasa, yeah. Okay, should I redo Forest Outfit since um, the Blossom generation, or sorry, the Buttercup generation is yellow and green? We should probably change the outfits. Holy cannoli, there's so much happening right now. First of all, there's a raid and also there's a giveaway for merch in the chat. So type exclamation point enter for a chance to win my new t-shirt merch. There's so much happening. Hi, train wreck Tony. Thank you so much for the raid. Perfect timing, literally. <laughs> That's so exciting. Welcome in. My name is Shella. We're playing The Sims in Bloom and we're starting Gen 2 today. So it's a big day. Um, and feel free to enter for a chance to win my merch. Uh, it's this, but a t-shirt. So good luck, I guess. <laughs> That's so exciting. Who who did the giveaway? Who did the giveaway? Mac Hercules. Thank you so much, Mac. Let's freaking go. That's so exciting. How was your stream, though? What were you up to today? Thank you so much for rating me. I think we're gonna give my sim a little bit of a makeover here because they need to wear yellow and green. So we're gonna go into cast and give them some new outfits. Also, what is the vibes? We're like we're like a vet. We're like a gamer vet. How do I make a gamer vet? Also, can I just change this to green? Yeah, honestly, you look great. You look really good. This is kind of green. Can I keep this, do you think? I think so. Um, yeah, I like it because it, it's green and it's kind of like outdoorsy kind of pet vibes. Maybe we'll give them a second everyday outfit, though. Something that screams, I love cats. I love cats. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's a lot. That's a lot. Trying the 100 baby challenge for the first time since infants. Oh, God. How is that going for you? I am also doing the 100 baby challenge, but over on my... Um, over on YouTube. And it is quite a challenge, let me tell you. It is not going well. I kind of like this sweater for Forest. I quite literally almost lost my mind. No, that makes sense. I like this. Are they an adult now? They're a young adult. Yes, they are. Do you allow self-promo? I do not. Thank you for asking. Cat ears hair? No. Absolutely not. When's the next 100 baby challenge coming out? Uh, As soon as I finish editing it. Probably in a couple days. Laura, thank you for gifting that sub to Trainwreck Tony. Enjoy your emotes and ad-free viewing. 
Just a reminder, chat. Forest uses they, them pronouns. So let's try to rem remember. Oh, <gasps> Sid Cat won Mac Hercules gift of a Morshella t-shirt. Congratulations to Sid Cat. All you have to do is click on that redeem link to go uh, get your merch. So congratulations. That's so exciting. Let us know what color you pick. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm so excited. Thank you again for giving away a piece of merch, Mac. That is very sweet of you. We had two merch giveaways today so far. That's so exciting. Uh, also, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. I feel like these pants are not working, though. Like, should I should I get, like, skinnier jeans, do we think? Or maybe... Mm -hmm. I don't know what the vibes are. Like this, maybe? Forest green pants? Oh god, not that. Maybe this works? I feel like the shorts don't look good with this outfit. I think, I think these are kind of fun. This green color. And then this is kind of like a very soft yellow. Oh my gosh, we have a goblin redemption as well. One of us, one of my mods will be with you shortly, Gavi. So make sure you have your Discord DMs open. Let's freaking go. I like this. I think this is good vibes. I like it. I don't know where they're moving to. Um, I think we can build a vet office wherever we want. Okay, do we really want to keep this as our formal wear? I don't think so. Should I maybe just search by green or yellow? What happens if I search by green? I feel like they're pretty fashionable. Oh, wow, that's... Oh, this is quite nice. Oh, oh my god, this is actually the outfit that Everett wears to work. What if this is a hand-me-down from Everett? I kind of like the idea of this being a hand-me-down from Everett. <laughs> I'm so happy they're the heir too. I really am. Yeah, chat, if you see anyone misgendering Forrest, feel free to gently uh, correct them. Because there might be people who weren't here when uh, or don't know anything about Forrest. So by all means, feel free to give them a gentle gentle reminder because i might miss it i think that's really exciting maybe the pants need to be black though i don't know oh god is that too much <laughs> is that too much also little bean thank you for the first time sub chat you know what that means enjoy your emotes and ad free viewing but most importantly enjoy your new smile i kind of like it i kind of like it I think this is exciting. Maybe we'll change the eyeliner though. Um, to be green. What was it? Was it under here? Where's the eyeliner that they had? Oh, here it is. It's this, I just need to like make it. Like not be so. Wow, exciting, exciting. Hi, thank you for the sub. Okay. Um. This is our workout outfit. I think maybe we should try to go for our color. So probably this green. Green makes sense for a sim named Forest, anyways. We have green Grundies on. This is our party outfit. Swimsuit. That's fine. Okay, this outfit needs to change. I love the bucket hat. I wonder if there's a different swatch we can use. 
This has like green and yellow in it, but I don't know. Brown and yellow, maybe. Can we try to see if we have yellow? That will work with this. They're like a very chill person. Is that like... That might be too much. Wait, this is actually kind of cute. It also kind of has matching patterns. Right? I think I like that. That's kind of exciting. I think that actually works really well. Okay, and then this is our winter outfit, which honestly, it's mostly fine. We'll just change this color to be the green swatch with the green pants and a green hoodie. There we go. Did I say hoodie? I meant uh, beanie. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, by the way. Welcome in. All right. This is our sim forest and they're going to move out today and build a vet building. So if I buy a vet business right now in this family and I move out forest later, will forest still own the vet business or will it be owned by this family? That's what I need to know. <gasps> Anna, thank you for the 16 months. Welcome back. Okay, so I need to move them out right now then. Oh man, I'm not ready to move them out. Is Forrest a trust fund baby? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Their parents won the lottery, so. Okay. We have to think about this. I don't have any elders to like, should I, should I just bring this with me? Oh God, I have a lot of photos in my inventory. I have my voodoo doll. I'll just bring that with me and bring my postcard too. I might want to upload this version of the house to the gallery quick though. Just so like Shella has it. Cause I uploaded this house before when I first built it. But I feel like Shella wants this for the memories. Um, I saw your video on my YouTube recommended and I can't wait to catch up on this series. Oh my gosh, yay. Welcome in. Your drops are on for Dreamlight Valley, right? Not today. I'm going to be doing a uh, Dreamlight Valley drops on Saturday. So come back on Saturday if you would like. If you'd like the drops. Also, I have this if you need to connect everything. Bring their laptop. Maybe yeah, I will. Why won't it let me save my house? Why? Why? Hmm. Thanks for the follows, by the way. Welcome in. You had this gallery glitch yesterday. Well, that's terrible. I wanted to save everything before I take all the pictures off the walls. I guess I'll leave them. We can always come get them later. Yeah, I, I only want it in my library. So. Yeah. I've been on your YouTube nonstop this week watching old series. Oh, thank you. That sucks. Well, dang it. All right. Well, I'm going to bring their puzzles with us then. They also have a couple photos that I want to bring and their laptop. 
just get grab a couple of these things. We'll have enough money. Are there any like very important photos that I want to bring from this gallery wall? I know that does suck, doesn't it? What are the Dreamlight Valley drops? I've seen people talk about them, but I haven't played in a while. It's like four items that are like gamer related that you'll have the opportunity to get uh, on Saturday or if you watch someone else who has drops enabled right now. Yay! My cat's name's Olivia. I finally, I just finalized the order for the shirt. Thanks again for the giveaway. Oh my gosh, that's exciting. Thank you again for hosting that giveaway, Mac. I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave the gallery wall for now. We can come get the pictures later if we really want them. Um, oh my gosh, do you remember when they were only this big? That was such a long time ago. Oh, this is the, uh, this is the wedding certificate between Petal and Everett. So I'm going to leave that. Um, let's go ahead and harvest everything today. I want to harvest the pomegranate and the death flower. The cow plant backpack on their desk. Oh, they don't go to school anymore, so they won't need it. I need to bring both my cats with me, too. And Spiegel has fleas, I think. Oh, I think they both have fleas, so I'm going to need to get them both a vet treat. But I think our vet office will have a vet vending machine, so I can get one when we build it. The camera or the floppy drive? Oh, you can make copies? Wait. Yeah, you can make copies of the photos, can't you? Put it in the keepsake box. That's true. Do I want to do the keepsake box right now? The vintage camera, I think it's called. Uh, I don't know. Can I put this in the keepsake box? Oh, I can. All right, I'm going to keep the keepsake box. I'm not putting any photos in there because I heard it was glitched. And that scares me. Did I name the cat Smeagol? No, it, it was named Smeagol when I got it. <laughs> Which might not sound true, but it is. Uh, I don't know how to do the photocopy thing. We can always come back and get the photos later, you guys. Go to work, pedal. Why are you not at work? Go to work. You're supposed to get promoted today. Oh my god. She's throwing. Yeah, I can do that another day. I think today we'll just focus on building the vet office. That's the main thing on my brain right now. I'm so sad that Mufasa died. How could I let that happen? That's actually so sad. How old are my Sims? Um, they're all adults except for Sage. She's still a teenager. Okay. I think we're ready to move out. Where should we move to? I don't know. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> There's a lot of drama to control. Yeah, there's a lot of drama in this family. Like, it's almost too much. This is the Sims in Bloom legacy. Maybe I'll wait to see if Petal gets promoted. Because we're hoping she gets promoted today. She is not doing well because her midlife crisis. Oh, God. What do I need to be a good vet? What should we work on? I guess I'll work on my programming. Because I know I need that as well. Let's mod a game. <laughs> nice. 
Yeah, I don't know if I want to go to Brindleton Bay because there's already a vet office there. So I'm wondering if we should go to a different world. Hmm. Yeah, we're just going to leave them here. We're going to move out. Then we can come visit and stuff. Okay, Sage is not having a good day. She is very stressed out. <laughs> Poor thing. Oasis Springs. Honestly, yeah, Copperdale might be a fun world to live in with a vet office. Would cottage living be too much? Well, we would have a lot of foxes and birds and bunnies around. Don't overreact. You're not hideous. See, I'm a nice older sibling. Yeah, we could build one in the downtown area in Copperdale. I think that could be a lot of fun. Oh, you're experiencing burnout? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. I could stay in the new world. We could stay here if we wanted to. We have a lot of options. Am I going to turn on neighborhood stories and progression for the rest of the family? You know, I'm not sure, because I don't know if I want them to, like, have more kids and stuff. Or die. So maybe I'll turn a couple things on. I need handiness. Forgotten Hollow? I'm not going to run a vet clinic in Forgotten Hollow. Absolutely not. <laughs> I kind of, I'm kind of liking the idea of Henford. What? Oh. Come on, Petal. Come on. Oh my god, she's not going to get promoted, is she? Because she's burnt out. That's actually so upsetting. I like the idea of Copperdale. The werewolf world? <laughs> Wouldn't the werewolves just bring themselves into the vet? That's interesting. Edel, you didn't get promoted. I'm really disappointed in you. We were all expecting it today. <laughs> Cure all the werewolves. Imagine being a werewolf vet. That is like a very interesting job. I vote for a vet clinic in Batu. Okay, Courtney, this is why we don't listen to your votes. Okay, Courtney. Oh, really? Welcome in, Ivy. I'm glad that you're here today. Welcome. Can you imagine working at a vet clinic and a raging werewolf comes in? Honestly, I think I would quit the job. I would have to be done. Okay, these two are watching TV together. Pretending like everything's fine. Sage, why don't you fix the sink instead of just looking at it? Hostile workplace. <laughs> no, I think I'm going to do it in Copperdale because there's a really cool downtown area in Copperdale that would be perfect for a vet clinic. Are y'all supporting Courtney in this economy? I'm supposed to get my fishing and my wellness to level 10. God. I feel like there's so much drama that happened in this generation with Petal that I haven't been able to focus on her skills. Okay, Everett's talking to Kyle. Any drama? Yeah, we're gonna live above the vet clinic. I think that's kind of fun. Fight, 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 fight. Boast about your family. See what Kyle thinks about that. My family is the best. They all love me and we're very close. Kyle's like, yeah, okay. Ugh. Ooh, you started the 100 baby challenge today? Good luck. Let me tell ya. <laughs> From experience, it's quite difficult. Okay, Petal, let's go do some uh, yoga. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. 
Okay, they're both yelling at the cat. Lecture about scratching. You can do that. You can just tell them not to scratch. Please, Smeagol. Dang it. Your family loves me too. <laughs> I know, right? Kyle's like, actually, your family loves me more. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. I made my mention hate Father Winter. You know, I, I support that. I also made my uh, last legacy family hate Father Winter. He was a family enemy. Hi, Hammy. How are you? All right, tomorrow we're going to move out and build our vet clinic. I'm very excited for it. It's going to be a good time. Prom hasn't worked for me in a while, and the pop-up just scared me. I'm not ready for prom. Uh-oh. Not this. You're not ready for prom? Okay. You're still going to contemplate life? Oh, wow. Your sim sounds awesome, Second Bite. <laughs> I bought Planet Zoo yesterday because of your stream and I love it. Oh, that's so exciting. Which animal did you get first? That's always my question when someone tells me they get Planet Zoo is, which animal did you get first? I can't remember which animal I got first in Planet Zoo. That makes me kind of sad. I wish I remembered. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. I love the layout of the house. I make my Sims move so much because I can't find a house that I like. Oh, this house is on my gallery if you want to play in it, Jay. Feel free. I upload lots of houses. Capybara and horses. Love. Just say it's Tittles. Okay, fair. It was probably Tittles. You got Aardvarks. Is Planet Zoo worth it if I don't have a mouse? Um... I'm going to say it would probably be a difficult game to play without a mouse. But also, I feel like every game is kind of hard to play without a mouse. I can't imagine trying to play on a trackpad. A capybara in a horse paradise? That sounds like a good goal to have, honestly. Hey, okay, Everett, go to sleep. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Yeah, I get pretty obsessed with games too when I get them. Oh my god. <gasps> Their relationship is under so much stress right now that she doesn't even want to share the bed. Pedal. Go to sleep in the bed. <laughs> Girl. So dramatic. All right, Forrest, let's, let's wake up, get ready for the day, and then do some yoga. And then we're going to move out. Oh, hi, Megan. Always drama. You didn't get the notification that I was live? Ugh, yeah, that's pretty normal with Twitch, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Go do some yoga. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Welcome in. Can you yell at the cat for dumping out the, the trash? One of these cats just dumped out my trash. Okay, everyone's coming to the office to dance. That's interesting. All right, Forrest, are you ready to move out today away from your family? I don't know. You use a wireless mouse? I also have a wireless mouse right now. I have this one. Um, I actually prefer it over a wired mouse. I could plug it in if I wanted to. Oh, hi, cat. How are you? The drinks on the counter in the dining room. Oh, these are essences from cow plants. Um, so if your sim gets eaten by a cow plant, you can milk the cow plant and it'll give you this. 
I played The Sims 4 earlier. My Sim died by laughing. He was saved and then 20 minutes later, he died again from laughter. I did not know Sims did this. Uh oh, <laughs> that's so I'm sorry. I shouldn't laugh at your misfortune, but honestly, I think it's exciting when Sims die randomly. In the midst of her midlife crisis, Petal has decided that DJ mixing is her thing. Okay, Petal is really trying hard to relate to Kyle and it's just too much for me. All right, it's time for us to go build our vet office. Petal's trying really hard to impress Kyle. Mm -mm -mm. She's like, oh, you like partying? I can party. Why didn't that work? Split from household and move. Time to go. Oh, is it because it's Winterfest? I'm canceling Winterfest. Let's go. Time to build a vet office. Imagine your kid moving out on Christmas. Yeah, she, they're just like, oh, bye. I'm leaving. Okay, just me and my cats. And I think we're going to try to go build in Copperdale. Yeah, we're taking all of the money. We need it. Okay, technically we need to live somewhere, but we're not actually going to live there. Which lot should we build on, though? Should we build on this library lot or this one here or this one? Hmm. Stealing not only the money, but all the cats. They're my cats. Oh, my gosh, Jess, that's wild. <laughs> OK, we're going to move here first. This is going to be our home and then we have to purchase the business. Megs, thank you for gifting two subs to the community, by the way. Can we get some love and hype in the chat? Oh, it's snowing over here? Oh, boy. Forest, the commuting trickster. What? Oh, my bike. I can sell that. My bike. Okay, now I need to buy a vet clinic. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Don't worry, cats. I'll have a home for us soon. Yeah, Olivia's EP right now. Okay. Oh, I can only purchase unowned business or unoccupied residential lots. Okay, so we have to decide if we want to bulldoze. Should we bulldoze the house? So that way we can get boba and have a library too. Do you think this will be a big enough lot? Let's go look at it. Your Sims in Bloom Gen 1 lives on this lot? Nice. Okay, let me let me just quickly uh Wow, this looks like a really nice family, you guys. Yeah, because I plan on having the first floor being the vet the vet office, and then the second floor being where we live. So honestly, this is a really nice spot. We also have like some nature around us, and it's like in the downtown area. This actually kind of works nicely. I don't think I've ever lived on this lot before. That's exciting. Yeah, the vet won't need too much room. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna evict you. Sorry. 
Perfect. This is exciting, you guys. It's been forever oops, since I've played with a vet, so I'm very excited. Okay, let's go now. Buy a vet clinic. Let's -a go! Oh, I got you. I understood what you meant. This one right here is what you're talking about, right? Okay. Here we go. This is where we're going to open our business. So technically we don't live here, but we're going to like build a functional living space and just never go home because I have auto bills on, so I won't ever have to go home. All right, let's just put 75,000 simoleons into this. Oh. I'm confused. Okay, somehow that worked. It's snowing here too. Well, what's with that green light? Uh, owning and running a vet clinic is hard work. Pets are like family to a lot of sims and they're trusting you to take good care of their sick furry friend. Be sure to hire skilled employees, manage your clinic properly and level up your vet skill to succeed. Let's go. I'm excited. So these are all uh, underneath Olivia are all the things we need. We're going to need like exam tables, vet podium, waste disposal and stuff like that. But let's just focus on the structure of the building first. So I'm thinking it's going to be a two story building. And I kind of want to build it uh, similar to what's around the area, like even just next door. I kind of like that. It looks like it's two separate buildings. Thanks for the scritches for Olivia. Thank you. I wish it weren't snowing. Yeah, it'd be a lot easier if it wasn't. Um, if it wasn't snowy here, that's for sure. I want to have enough room for like a backyard. So hopefully that's enough. Welcome back. Um, And I kind of like how they did this. They kind of like put a roof on one side of it. Like this. And then this one, they just kind of turned it into like a half wall moment almost. We could do like some kind of rooftop moment up here and like actually have rooftop up activities. Uh, thanks for the follows. Welcome in. Is Forrest going to be pregnant? No, Forrest is going to probably try to get a science baby. In city living, can you make apartments into commercial units? I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, something like this. I could cheat the weather. I could, but I would have to go out of what I'm in right now, and I don't feel like doing that. It's going to be fine. We'll be able to build in the snow, you guys. I promise it will be okay. I'm going to have to like put a empty room up here so that I can do what I want to do. Also, thank you for the gifts of Miss Firecracker. Enjoy your emotes and ad free viewing. Thank you so much. This is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Moonlight Alyssa, thank you for the 17 months. Welcome back. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Should I make these both like medium wall height maybe? So it can look more antique. Hmm. I don't know. I guess I can figure that stuff out later. But I feel like this is kind of the vibe, you know? I miss The Sims 2 where you could have an at-home business. Well, you can like work from home, but yeah, I, I know what you mean. It sucks. I miss it too. Hmm. I think I have they have it like this to where there's like no overhang. And it's kind of like 
Oh no. Kind of like that, maybe? Also, thank you for the follows. Welcome in, friends. I can't see what my roof is. This is really annoying. I don't know if I can make the snow go away that fast, though. Like, it's going to take a couple hours for the snow to melt. Grr. I guess we'll just have to deal with it. Yeah, what are we thinking about this kind of vibe? I think that this is kind of nice. And I like the little the little window vibe here. So I'm thinking like part of this can be the vet clinic and part of this can be our house. Heat wave and times three speed. Oh my gosh. That sounds scary. I'm almost thinking like we'll have an entrance to the apartment over here. Like this will be a lobby and then like the vet clinic will probably go back under here. And like this will be like, oh yeah, go upstairs to your apartment or something. And then the apartment will be up here. That's kind of what I'm imagining just so y'all get the get the image. Does that make sense? So this will be the storefront area for the for the vet clinic and then this will be the go up to the apartment vibes. I like that. I think that's fun. Can you build from managed worlds? Um, I think even in managed worlds, it would be snowy, wouldn't it? I think it'd be cute if one building was green and one was yellow for buttercup gen. Yeah. All right. I'm not going to change the season, but... Why won't it let me change the weather? Heat wave. Get rid of the snow. There we go. <laughs> we did it. I just, I had to be able to see the colors. Simulation, thank you for the resub for two months. I really appreciate it. Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. There we go. I gave in. There. I like that. I think that's a fun little little build. Yeah, I can lock this door so non-household members can't go into my apartment, which I think is like a good good vibe. Like I like the idea of that. Okay. Thanks for redeeming scritches for Olivia. Thank you so much. Yeah, this could this could be a lot of fun, you guys. Okay, how do we want to build this? I think I want to make this a little bit like flatter, maybe. Oh no. <laughs> maybe I liked it like that. I think that's actually fine. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Okay, and how will we have our vet clinic? Will it just be like a single door? Honestly, I love this door so much. I feel like this looks like a storefront door. And then we can have the little overhang moment. Like one of these guys over here with like a window. I think that's really fun. Nadine, thank you for the resub for 13 months. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you all so much for all of the, the subs and resubs and stuff. I really, really appreciate it. Yeah, I'm trying to make it kind of look like it belongs in the world. This is kind of giving food. I don't want it to give food. I don't know what to do. I'm back. Welcome back, goddess. Thank you for the 21 months. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. What if I just merge them together like that? You can like hardly tell that they're clipping. Lucky 13. 
Whoa, Norse woman, thank you for the 13 months. And Nova Rose, thank you for gifting a sub as well. Thank you guys so much. Let's freaking go. It's building day. Building day hype? I kind of like that. What do you guys think? They have like a big window there. I wonder if I can get a big window here too. Oh my gosh, Foxy, whoa. <laughs> Thank you for gifting fit. No, that was five. I almost said 15. Five subs, holy cannoli. Thank you so much. Wow. What world is this? Oh, uh, this is uh, la, 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 Copperdale. That was hard for me. I kind of want to do this balcony thing. Hmm. Also, this looks this window looks a little small. Have that. I mean, so I do that. That's kind of nice. I think I have to like move everything back a tile though. Hold on. Because if I want to do the overhang... Oh God. This is a lot of work. Okay, that was dramatic. Did I? There we go. <laughs> that was dramatic. More birthday gift subs. Oh, thank you. Is it your birthday today, Foxy? Gummy sweets and they have a rainbow gradient. That sounds really good. I'm actually a little jealous of you. It's your birthday? Well, Humble Borpna. Can we get some humble borpnas in the chat for Foxy? Humble borpna. That's so exciting. Did you do anything exciting today? I know it's a couple people's birthdays, so I always like to ask if we're doing anything exciting. That was beautiful. You're welcome. You're so welcome, bestie. <laughs> okay, I like the idea of having this little overhang right here it's a little one what i don't like is that it is at different heights so i think i'm gonna do a little glitch i learned when building casita Yours is on Saturday? Well, happy early birthday. I'll be here on Saturday, so. We're doing our Twitch drops on Saturday. Wow. Yeah, there we go. Can I get this pillar to go under it? No, that's the problem. Hmm. Thank you for the resub, Kindred Ketchup. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hmm. Oh, I can. Or, well, that's just perfect. What's a Twitch drop? So, basically, Disney Dreamlight Valley is doing Twitch drops, which means that they have four items that you can get by watching specific streamers while they're playing Disney Dreamlight Valley. And I happen to be one of those streamers that will have drops enabled. And we're going to do that on Saturday. And all you have to do is watch the stream and it will give you the items. Very exciting. It's like this cool gamer stuff. It's like RGB. Really, really cool looking. I'm very excited for it personally. Um, 
Also, thank you for the bits, L. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're building a vet clinic, but also like a home. A home for Forrest and Forrest's future family. So this side is the vet clinic side and this side is the home. Oh, thanks, Caroline. Yeah, we'll be doing it on 5 p.m. Eastern. Exclamation point drops for more info if you guys need it. So this will be the yellow side. This will be the green side. I guess I'll work on this side first. Um, I almost don't know if we would have windows here. Maybe we would. Or maybe not. I'm wondering if maybe instead of windows, we would have some like wall decals. Maybe some posters. So this is kind of like in the city. So it's kind of just like, yeah, whatever is up there. Do I have any posters? I think there are a couple posters. I just have to find them. There's these like Bobo ones. I think there's also some from Snowy Escape as well. That are very poster vibes. Hmm. Where are they? Where are they? I guess I'll just filter. Sometimes I try to th find things and then I'm like, why don't I just filter it? Yeah, these. Oh, that's awesome, Jess. Wow, that sun is really strong. Forest outfit is cute. Oh, I'm glad you think so. I tried to make it look as cute as possible. That's more like a boba menu. I'm thinking like... These kind of posters. Kind of like advertisements. Would be up here on this wall. Kind of like how that has an advertisement on it. And there's like decals everywhere. Fun fact. In Germany, you don't wish early birthdays because it's considered to bring bad luck. Uh-oh. Well, I'm sorry to any Germans I've wished an early birthday to. It's not my intention to bring you bad luck. Not at all. I think that's kind of fun, right? Having like a little bit of decal stuff out front. And then this would be our balcony. So... I don't know what kind of door we would have for our balcony. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, we'll definitely do some graffiti on the side too. Right now, I'm just, just solely working on the front. I don't know what kind of balcony door we would have. Probably not that. Would it be a double door? Should I do like a sliding glass door? I obviously did it on purpose. No, I, I didn't. Did you say this is going to be a vet's? Yeah, so it's going to be a vet office, but also um, an apartment for my sim to live at. So it's like serving two purposes. So it's kind of exciting. Maybe this, if I paint it white. That's kind of nice. Like a French door. Hi, Nurse Weeb! Yeah, we're going to put, like, uh, vet stuff over here once we get over there. I'm just focusing on this side first, just so I can get the house stuff out of the way, I think. Oh, I kind of like this railing. Okay, that completely deleted my roof. I might just have to wait to do the roof until later, because... I'm glitching the roof. Don't tell them I'm hacking. I love your builds. Really? Thank you. That means a lot. I'm really glad you love my builds. I can put this on the gallery if you guys want. If you think you would like to play in it. 
because I think anyone who has cats and dogs would be able to play in it. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, please. I got you. No, Olivia's not that feisty. She never bites. Yeah, I'm doing both the house and the vet in the same lot. So basically, this is going to be the entryway that leads up to our apartment. I'm going to do some kind of like lobby. And then this floor will be where we live. Up here. Living space. And then over here will be an entryway into the vet. Does that make sense? I feel like that's probably a good entryway. We'll need extra packs because of the house part. Um, you'll need whatever packs that I use to furnish it. Yeah, that is true. Oh, that's nice. That right there. I like that. I think. I think so. <laughs> I don't know. I can't tell if I like the placement of the stairs there or not. Maybe I like it there. Yeah, we can make this into some kind of front lobby and maybe there's a door that leads to the vet office there too. Just for a future, you might want to put a lock on the door downstairs so no one comes into your apartment. Yeah, that's definitely the plan. All of that stuff we can worry about whenever we get there. Good thinking though. I feel like that's nice. Your cats have an attitude tonight? Okay, my cat has been weird today, too. She doesn't bite, but she's been, like, out of sorts today. So I don't know what it is with cats today, but I think they all need to chill a little bit. I don't know what their deals are. Ooh, I kind of like this. What if we had this, like, light green paneling for this part? What do you guys think? And then down here, I was thinking of just doing brick. Like, over here, we have some brick. So I was thinking we could match it because I also have that brick. I think it's like that color. Yeah. It's the pink moon. Do you think so? Do you think that's causing all the drama with the cats? kind of like that. I like that a lot. And that also matches like the Copperdale brick. There we go. Is it a full moon tonight or something? Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. That's why the cats are crazy today. You're crazy, girl. You're crazy. Okay. I'll put my roof back in a second. It's full moon for you. Well, that maybe that explains a lot. Um, should I, I guess I could just do the paneling up here, too. That's fine. I think this is going to look awesome. I'm actually getting really excited about playing in this lot. Like, it's fun to build. But I think I'm also just excited to play in it. Also, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. All right. I'm doing this so that my roof is not as tall. I want it to be at a shorter height. Kind of match the vibe over here. So it's not all the way up there. Only on a full moon. Hi, Sarold. What's up? Bestie Sarold. Okay. I like that. I think that's good. 
Okay, um, for this one over here, it looks like they use just like a stucco. So should I just use a stucco? People were saying I should make it yellow, but what if we made it like white with yellow accents? Macerald. Also, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. I hope you're feeling good today, Sari. Good to see you. You got the bright, the bright pink cat ears hair. Uh oh. <laughs> Have fun. This is just concrete. I feel like that's boring though. Hmm. I don't know. Oh my gosh! Yeah, enjoy your emotes. This is making me want to play my Sims in Bloom save again, but the last time I played it, my Sims got triplet science babies. I'm so scared. Why on earth did you let your Sims get triplet science babies? Oh, we could do this. There we go. And before you all are like, oh, Shella's using yellow. Yes, chat. The, this generation is yellow and green. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. This is not free will. This is actually against my will. I'm being held. Please send help. Send assistance. SOS. I think that's kind of fun. Oh, I did not mean to paint that. There we go. What do we think? Rules with a Z so you know they're cool. Lulu is really good at knowing what's hip and cool. We're so lucky to have her. Hi. Hope you're having Hi! Hi! Thank you, Crystal Lee, for the two month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you. This is Copperdale. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, hey, yo. Let's not be making this whole thing yellow, okay? Oh, I need to make this brick. There we go. So we have vet side and we have non bedside. I don't know if I like that. I don't know. I don't know if I like this uh, wallpaper choice. Maybe I'll do this. I think that's still kind of bright and fun. Lulu is the coolest, coolest person I know. Send tweet. Lulu is pretty great. This is a vet clinic. You can kind of see it's underneath my cat, but we have some like necessary things that we need to make it a, a vet clinic over here. But we're also adding a residential space so my sim can live here. I don't know what's happening up there. Hi, Tina. What's up? It's good to see you. Okay, I like this vibe, though. Should I add, like, flower boxes under the window, do you think? I think that's kind of exciting to me. It's giving, come to our vet clinic, we will heal your animals. Not clickbait. I really like that. Frog! Thank you so much for continuing that gift sub. Welcome back, friend. Thanking you. Maybe not that high. It's so cute. Love the flower boxes. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to have to get like vet signage on the outside for sure. For sure. Wait a minute. Oh 
Oh my god, this blends in seamlessly. It's giving wood. Let's go. It's a vibe? Thank you. You're honestly so shocked. Shocked about what? About my willingness to use yellow? Oh, the wood matching. Okay, yeah. No, that's valid. They learned from the mistakes of the of the doc in Cats and Dogs. Yeah, I think they did. They heard our outrage. They were like, ooh, we shouldn't do that again. Bad move. Okay. Wait, yellow? Whose stream is this? Okay, let's not get dramatic, all right, chat? Look, I'm only using yellow because this is the yellow and green generation of Sims in Bloom. This is not a choice. I'm being forced. COVID changed you. I'm dead. <laughs> I think that looks very city vibes. I like that. COVID changed you. Dang. Okay. I don't really know, like, fully which windows I want to use. I also don't have a floor plan. So we're just going to see what happens. I make the yellow look good. Well, I think I make everything look good just because of who I am. And honestly, you're welcome. But, you know... I'm in my yellow era. I'm not in my yellow era. Do not, do not go spreading that. I am not in my yellow era. Absolutely not. I can't have my image wrecked like this. My image. <laughs> You're staying awake for yellow right now? Oh my God. I welcome the eternal sleep after having to build this. Hmm. Get famous. Maybe I'll use the get famous windows. Those ones are kind of exciting to me. Cause like, I feel like this could be a city, city vibe. Yeah, I like that, actually. Wow, so modest. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why does anyone stick around in my streams? That's what I want to know. Are y'all good? Spring Sims who? I'm replacing him. You don't need spring sims anymore. That's nice. That's a lot of light coming in. Definitely staying for Olivia. Those pickles. Oh my gosh, we have a goblin redemption. One of us. One of my mods will be with you shortly, so make sure you have... Your Discord DMs open. Bottom bum. Yeah. That's the song. In case you were wondering. Okay, that just has concrete on the roof, but I don't know if I like that. Ooh, that's kind of spicy. That's kind of spicy. I kind of like it. Let's make it like a little more weathered. That's fun. This is going to be a fun lot to live in, you guys. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now we have to figure out the floor plan. I'm kind of vibing with what I have here. 
as our little entryway. I should probably work on our living quarters first, I guess, since that's kind of the side I'm on right now. So we need to make this a livable house. We're going to have one science baby. We're going to have forest. And so two bedrooms. I don't really think I want to have a guest room because I live in a vet clinic, so I don't really want people staying with me. But if we can fit a guest room, that'd be nice. I feel like an office, though, is probably good. What if we did like an office with a Murphy bed? That could be a guest room. Maybe we could do that. I don't know. I think, yeah, we could eventually grow some death flowers up there. I think that'd be kind of fun. Honestly, I don't know how I want to access the rooftop garden. Do we? Do we want to have a cheeky little trellis all the way up there? Is that the energy? Is that the option? Is that who we are? That might be us. That could be us. I think I like it. I'm planning on doing a tiny little yard back here, so makes sense. Honestly, yeah, the Sims community is full of lovely people. If there are bad people in the Sims community, I don't associate myself with them, so I don't really have any bad vibes, you know? Yeah, forest does seem adventurous. Okay, so let's think of a floor plan here. So this will probably be an archway that goes into an entryway. Do I want it to be green? I mean, it might be. Regardless, I think that this makes sense. We have a little archway here. Okay. Uh, and then I think we'll probably have this be like our main living space. So I'm thinking like kitchen along this wall, perhaps. Let's just block it out. Let's just put some stuff down and be like, yeah, that is the vibe. Can we put cabinets here? I mean, yeah, technically this could go around if we need it to. Kitchen vibes. Um, then we can have like, we could honestly do bar seating. Bar seating, and then we could have a living room here. Like, what if we just had our TV here? I'm not going to use that. <laughs> kind of have a living room space here. And then maybe some stuff for the cats back here. That makes a lot of sense to me, this layout. Um, we could have another archway into into the unknown into like a hallway bless you olivia this can be a door into there this can be a bedroom but also oh i need a public bathroom a publicly accessible bathroom. So we'll probably put that right there. This can be the public bathroom. This can be a kid bedroom. And then maybe we make another bathroom right here. Let's get some doors. So we'll be like, bop, 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 bop. Like that? I like that. <gasps> Thanks, Dink. It's the new merch. <laughs> oh, we're not in the werewolf world, so we don't have to worry about werewolves. Don't worry. Don't you worry. I think that's nice. I quite like that. I think that works well for us. Yeah, Forrest brought the cats. 
Um, this can be kind of like an office space over here because this is kind of our front entryway. So, you know, if we need an office space, we got one. Yeah, forest has the cats. Public bathroom door should be the stairs. This door should be the stairs? What do you mean by that? Oh, by the stairs? Oh, are you saying you think I should have the door to the normal bathroom over here? Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. Not a bad idea. However, then our kid would have to walk all the way around here to go to go pee. It's fine, though. It's not that far. I guess what I mean by public bathroom, though, let me clarify, is like if we have someone visiting us, they don't have to walk through my bedroom to go to the bathroom. So it's not actually public. I'm going to put a bathroom in the vet clinic, too, if that makes sense. Um, oh my gosh, hey, cool days, thank you for the first time sub, chat, you know what that means, enjoy your emotes and ad free viewing, but most importantly, enjoy your new smile, let's freaking go, also hi Tay, it's good to see you, are you wearing your hoodie today, very good, also thank you for the follow, Jacked Chattington, I like your name, I thought you meant it was for the patients, oh yeah, that's probably why I confused you. We can either put the door here or we can put it here. We'll have to figure it out once we start placing items. It's good to have an option, though. Yeah. That's a really fun. This is going to be cool to watch. I know. I'm excited. Hi, Boo. Welcome in. Yeah, if you all like this series, it's on my YouTube channel. So make sure you go subscribe over there. Subscribe today so we can hit 15K. You have sub emotes now. Yay! That's awesome. Okay. This will be our little lobby. Labarino. Um, should I figure out the vibes for the vet clinic before we continue on with actually furnishing? I probably should, right? You're on episode 7 right now? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a little behind. I think I'm uploading another episode tomorrow, though. Okay, that window is still fine. It just has the ladder in front of it. Which is honestly okay. Or I could move the ladder. Move it over one. Wish love. Stephanie, thank you so much for the resub for 32 months. I cannot believe it's been 32 months. That is crazy to me. That's actually crazy. What is going on? This thing is being really... Home of the phobic right now. I don't understand. Okay, it's fine. Okay. Now I need to find that stucco again. I think I used this one. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. You know, it seems so long, but time flew. Honestly, it really has. I refuse to judge a shallow build until it's done. I'm going to sit here cozy and trust the process. Tay gets it. Thanks, Tay. It's kind of crazy to think that we're coming up on my uh, four year stream anniversary, though, you guys. We're going to be celebrating later this month. Later this month. Okay. I like that. Rooftop garden energy. Because we have death flowers, so I could like plant them up here. I don't... Do death flowers have a season? I don't think they do, do they? I 
I don't think so. We can put some other stuff up there too eventually. Oh no, did my roof get deleted? Of course it did. All right, I'll just leave the roof for last. Is it winter? Oh, well, it's winter right now, so that's nice. <laughs> Go us, I guess. Okay, vet office. Well, actually, I should maybe fix some windows for the sides too over here. Or maybe I won't. Maybe there won't be any windows on this side. Okay. Let's do the vet stuff. So we need a surgery station. I feel like I'm going to buy the most expensive equipment. Because we can afford it. Thanks to Kyle. Here's all the stuff that we need to fit. Oh, I should put a dumpster back here too. I don't know. We'll figure it out. <sighs> okay. So this is like the biggest chungus of them all. This one is going to take up the most space. Maybe we put him there. Can I put the, uh, what is this called? Should I put like this in its own room, but then put the medicine craft in like an office? It's been forever since I've played with the vet clinic. Cause I know I need an exam room. I know I need a surgery room. But do I put this with the exam stuff? Is the expensive equipment better? Well, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I'm going to be paying extra money for it. We'll see, I guess. Also, I think I'm going to like... Have a door go to my apartment under here, but I'm going to lock it so that only I can use it. I don't know. I don't know how to set this up. I guess this is the problem of not playing it first. So maybe this is the surgery room. I'm going to need a door. Don't they have like vet doors? Hi, Bella. What's up? Best vet door. I need to get level 10 of the vet skill. Okay, well, guess who doesn't have that? Me. So if I don't have a vet door, which door should I use? Should we just make this like co country themed in here and have these doors? Yeah, we're going to put a bathroom. Don't worry. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. I think the most vets I download have each vet item in its own room. Okay. I have my med medicine machine in a separate office, but it doesn't need to be. Okay. From my understanding, you can also gain income from video game tournaments. Yes. Forrest is a gamer. I guess I'll just have this be our theme. These doors. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Okay, so this is like my front entry check-in podium. So you walk in. And I guess I can put this like right here. Should I have two of those maybe? Just in case. And then I feel like I should put a couch or something here. Kind of like a waiting room vibe. Because we're going to need time to serve everyone. So maybe something like that. Right by the window. Um, also, this vending machine you can buy items with. So maybe I'll put that up front too. I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. Oh, maybe I don't like that. Maybe that can be the bathrooms instead. 
and we can put this door somewhere else. We're going to figure this out together, chat. Just you wait. <laughs> Just you wait. Okay, this could be a public restroom for someone waiting for the vet to come. Maybe. Putting a floor plan together is like putting a puzzle together, so it's a lot of fun. Um, I feel like this could be a door to the back garden area, which honestly, maybe that's public. And then this could be a door that leads... I could put more vending machines over here. We could have like semi capsule and a snack vending machine. Just this is the vending machine hallway, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, some of the pet training stuff we can put outside. That's what I was thinking. Oxes, thank you for the first time prime sub chat. You know what that means. Enjoy your emotes and ad free viewing. But most importantly, enjoy your new smile. Let's freaking go. Okay. Yeah, so this is kind of like a, a hallway, maybe, to the outside. If people are waiting with their dog, maybe they take their dog out back to go pee pee poo poo. I've been waiting to catch you live. I've been catching up on YouTube. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Welcome on in. Right now we're working on Forest's vet clinic. Got a lot of stuff going on. I don't think I have like a door that screams, do not enter, I'm a vet. I don't have that door unlocked, so... Um... You know? Yeah, I guess we can use the get to work door. That's probably a really good idea. Do not enter. I'm a vet. Like this one. This is like doctors only vibes. And it, well, we can make it green. Because forest. This one? A little shelf with some pet food bags or bowls for sale, maybe? Can you actually sell those? I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can. Would it just be like pretending? I almost want to have like a front desk area, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's figure out where we're going to put these first. So I need... Should I have two exam rooms? Would it be smart to have two exam rooms, chat? It's been a while since I've played the vet career, so I don't actually know, like, everything I need. But is two exam rooms the vibe? Because I could put two, like, right here. Yes. Okay. Okay. So these are very small exam rooms. <laughs> uh, maybe I should make this a little bit bigger. That's fine. I can do that. I'm allowed. It's my build. I do what I want. Sick. I guess that just doesn't go there because of the ladder. Now I can't decide if I want the ladder to be here, though. Maybe I want the ladder to be, like... Here. Hold on. I don't like how it looks in that corner.
There we go. Maybe that's better. This is so tedious. Very tedious chat. Benny, oh my gosh, thank you for the first time prime chat. You know what that means. Enjoy your emotes and ad free viewing. But most importantly, enjoy your new smile. Let's go. So many first time primes today. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. Welcome. This is making me want to redo my vet clinic because this looks more fun. I think it's always more fun to live like on the lot that you're working at. At least in my uh, experience with The Sims, you know? Oh, you're back and forth between Not Severian Sims and Bloom. Gotcha. Well, good luck. What world are we in? We are in Copperdale right now. Okay, these exam rooms are a little bit bigger. <laughs> that makes me happy. Okay, so that's our beep boop room. Do I have room for an office? is the questione. This could be the world's smallest office. But size isn't everything. So maybe it works. All we need to do is be able to make medicine in there, right? Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Not me patiently waiting for you to be done with this build so I can move in my Gen 2. Oh my gosh, yeah, you all can move in your Sims if you want to. It's like I want to move this one back one as well. Anyways, I think that's better. I have the I have the right to do that. So, you've been watching my not so very on YouTube. Thank you, Asteroid. When you load into the game, will your character and their family be there all the time? How does that work? If I leave them here, they'll be here. Yeah. Holy cow! A full year. Wow. <gasps> Pig and cow plant. Let's go. Can we get some gay badges in the chat? Thank you so much for the year resub. Um, there we go. This is a better office. Way better. I can also probably scoot this up against the wall. And then we can put like a desk in here too. Hi, Mario. Thank you for the 34 months. Oh my God. Y'all need to calm down. You're being too nice to me. What is going on? Thank you. It's good to see you, Mario. We are currently building our, um, you know, you know, uh, we're currently building our Gen 2's house, but my Gen 2 is running a vet clinic so it's exciting i don't think that's the vibe what what fence should i use no that's not the vibe that's not the vibe either let me use this one don't be nice to me i'm a leo it's true if you're nice to me it goes straight to my head Gotta be careful with those Leos. You're nice to them one time. Maybe I just do a brown fence. I don't know. Could make it white. It's a lot to decide. I could just leave it open. I just feel like this is a nice place to come and like take your dog. If they need to go pee pee poo poo or something. Uh, 
Also dumpster. For dumpster diving. I like the white fence too. I think it's nice. Okay. Yeah, you just top you toss it in the dumpster after you go pee pee poo poo. Exactly. It's perfect. Okay, I need to get uh windows down here that would work for a vet office. I was using get famous windows on this build. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know if the get famous windows are the vibe right now. That seems like a lot. I don't want to do that, maybe. I know it bothers me too, cat girl. I wish I could put the fence on the edge of the lot. What kind of windows did they use? They don't have windows on the first floor. Hmm. I don't think I should use Get Famous. Pee pee poo poo equals fine. Toss equals ban. <laughs> what? Make it make sense. Okay. Do I want these to be my vet windows? I don't know. I think they look nice and city-like. I also want there to be some light in these exam rooms so it doesn't feel like just a cave. I think on this side, though, there probably shouldn't be any windows on this side. Yeah, they're kind of old-fashioned vibes. I think I like those. And I think maybe we put one here, even though it's covered by the trellis, just to have a window there. Or I could do it like this. Have it only be partially covered. Whatever works. Whatever works. Hmm... Maybe like that. Looky, looky. 16 months. Hey, let's go, Lemonade Lizzie. Thank you for the 16 month resub. Thank you. Welcome back. Which world are we in? We're in Copperdale. Yeah, we are, Pally. Look. We have, um, over on this side is our apartment that we're living in. And on this side is our vet office. So it's like split down the middle. So like in here, you'd go upstairs and on top is the apartment that we're living in. And then below is the vet office that we're working on. Isn't it so cute? I love it. I like it a lot. So pretty. Thank you. My hoodie looks so nice. Shopshella.com. Um, I think I don't want to have Forrest have a baby right away. I think Forrest is probably going to work on their career for a little bit. Focus on being a veterinarian, you know, before they find someone who eventually they're like, hey, I would like to have a science baby with you. Probably one of their good friends. Hi, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Okay, let me save my game really quick. I feel like we kind of have all the pieces we need. Now it's just a matter of like cluttering. What should I do first? Should we do the vet side first or should we do the apartment side first? Hmm. Aw, thank you. I was planning on waiting for the baby with my Gen 2 sim as well. Yeah. Yeah, let's make a poll for it. Also, thank you for the scritches for Olivia, but she's not here right now. She just jumped away. I'll make a poll. Which side should we build first? Here we go. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. All right, vote in the poll for which side you want to see me work on first, chat. I think either side is fine. Oh, it looks like apartment side is winning. Okay. 
Your wish is my command, chat room. I can do that. We have 30,000 simoleons left, but we have purchased a lot of our major items that we need, so we should be okay. I hope. Ooh. This is going to be a fun lot to play on. Okay, apartment side has almost 69 votes. Oh, there we go. Good night, Luis. I'll make it work. Yeah, okay. Famous last words. Shella never makes it work. She always goes over budget. She sucks. All right, let's work on this side first. Hi, Dika Dikerson. What's up? What's up? Mm, I kind of want to have like a cute window. There we go. Cute build. Thank you. All right, we're going to work on our apartment side first. So we're going to do the kitchen here. And now this generation is the... I keep wanting to say blossom generation, but no, it's buttercup. Same B word. So buttercups are yellow and green. That's the vibe. So we're doing yellow and green. That's the vibes we're running with today. I think I want it to feel very light inside. Very airy. Very fresh. Freshly renovated. So I'll probably go with this wood. Yeah, it's yellow, okay? I'm following the rules of the challenge. If anything, you all should be clapping for me right now. This is really hard for me. I'm in my flop era. I expect praise and adoration. I don't know what kind of color I should put in here. Maybe just stucco? I kind of like the green. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Okay. That's kind of like our lobby. <laughs> I don't think I actually need to do anything with it. I like the green, though. I think the green Strangerville railing is kind of dramatic. Kind of like it. Kind of like the green accents in the house, too. The backseat, thanks for redeeming scratches for Olivia. And it's Riss, thank you for the 513 sub. Let's go. Also, these are the scratches from earlier, too, that were redeemed when she was gone. When I'm gone, when I'm gone, gone. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. I like it. Okay, let's choose our kitchen counters. Oh my god, I just put cat hair up my nose. Thoughts? <laughs> God, Olivia, when will you stop shedding? Okay, counters. Let's search by green and yellow and see what happens. Ooh, we got some options. I hate that. Oh, these are actually kind of cute. Wait a second. Oh, I can use these ones. Okay, thank God. Oof. 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 Got worried there for a second. What's the difference? Oh, it's like slightly, slightly different. So, do they go with this color? No, this color. Okay. I think we'll use these ones. I like these ones. Yeah, sage green has been really popular recently. Also, these are kind of expensive. Ugh. Not really vibing with that. Okay. Wow, a yellow fridge looks hideous. Probably just go with like white appliances, honestly. Or gold. Oh, wait, that one's kind of fun. Wait. <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't do it. I can't do it. 
I can't do it. I like this though, because this has the gold on it that matches the gold on the countertops. Good night, sincerely. What do you say Country Kitchen is worth buying? No, not unless you're obsessed with having build items. That's my opinion. If you like having more options, though, then go for it. That's fun. I like that. Okay, let's get a stove. The new stove is expensive. Holy cannoli. Oh, and I can have a sink under the window. Oh, this is the best day of my life. We really need more kitchen sinks. I hate to be that guy, but like we really do need more kitchen sinks in The Sims 4. <laughs> I want like a bigger one. Actually, this comes with the pack, doesn't it? Or is that a different one? Oh, it must be a different one. Never mind. Um, also, Dink, thank you for gifting that sub. That's very sweet of you. This one comes with this. But it looks stupid in front of the window. Should I put it there? Or is that just dumb? I could swap this around. And do that. But is that just dumb? I don't know. It does have yellow. Country kitchen seemed like it was just items they didn't include in cottage living. That's how I felt too. Hmm. I like the farmhouse sink vibes. So I think I'll leave it. You can stay as a treat. There we go. Cute. Is tiny living worth it? I really like tiny living personally. If you want to see my favorite packs, you can type exclamation point packs, by the way. Yeah, that is a trash can. Isn't it cute? I like it a lot. dish racks um I don't know how I feel about this I kind of like having the pots and pan over here though and we can use that new range hood maybe it's so expensive though holy cannoli how do I feel about that I think that's kind of nice also, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Thank you. Yeah, we're on medium wall height right now, so. <gasps> B, hello. Hi, Raiders. Welcome in. Hello, Hive. My name is Shella. I use she, her pronouns. And we're actually doing something really exciting right now. We're building a veterinarian. Oh, I made all these the wrong color. A veterinarian office clinic, but also having like an apartment above it for my sims in bloom legacy so that's what we're working on right now and it's the uh buttercup generation so the colors are green and yellow which is interesting <laughs> but this is what we have so far um this is the vibes and this is the apartment side so that's what we're focused on at the moment welcome in though i hope you had a great stream b what were you all up to today I know it's gonna be so fun. I'm a little bit worried. We're getting low on money though. I need to I need to calm down a little bit. <laughs> I'm putting like my whole shellacy into this, and I need to just take a step back <laughs> and be like, let's be reasonable here. I kind of want to have a big fireplace though. I think that's kind of nice. This is in um this is in Copperdale. So are bits free to send? No, bits are money. One bit is like one penny. So you'd be giving me a penny. If you like me. 
Thanks, Silly Kings. Thank you. But yeah, this whole series is up on my YouTube channel. So if y'all are looking for a Sims Let's Play to watch, Rochella on YouTube. This is generation two that we're starting. Stream was good. We did some 100 berry challenge. I didn't play that much though because I got distracted talking and in cast per usual. Okay, that's a vibe though. Honestly, your streams always have the best vibes. So I'm sure whatever you ended up getting up to over there was just as lovely as it would have been otherwise. Thanks for bringing your community over here, B. Also, if you're from my chat and you don't follow B, um, first of all, why? And go do it. <laughs> That's all. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome in. And Tori, thanks for redeeming screw riches for Olivia. Let's freaking go. I guess I can leave the second bedroom empty because we're not having a baby for a bit. My Sim is going to have a science baby because they're arrow ace and are not interested in any form of relationship, physical or romantic with anyone. So we're gonna do we're gonna do our first science baby. It's gonna be very exciting. At least I'm excited for it, because I, I haven't done one yet. So we're gonna look for a platonic friend to have fun with genetics with. That's kind of the vibes we're going into this with. I kind of like that coffee table. I feel like I use it a lot, but it's really nice. So valid. Yeah, they are. My Sims name is Forrest, by the way, and they use they, them pronouns. Um, I don't... Oh, you can see them. They're here. This is Forrest. My generation two heir. They're a soft baby. Soft baby boy. In their winter outfits. Uh, also, thanks for redeeming scratches for Olivia, Nick. Our kid's name is Forrest, too. <gasps> OMG. Oh my gosh, thank you. Also, Gray, thank you for the thousand bits. What? <laughs> so many Sims named Forest. Let's go. It's a good name. It's a good name. I remember when you did Forest Makeover. I'm glad they carried over to the next gen. Yeah, they became chat's favorite. Um, chat voted for Forest to be the heir. And I, I like Forest vibes, so I'm glad Forest is the heir. They just moved out today, so um, it's exciting. Very exciting. Also, hi, Desi. It's good to see you. You're subbed on YouTube. Oh my gosh, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. We need to get a TV. I'm thinking we do this. I like hanging a TV on this fireplace. I think it looks nice. It's like perfect up there. You think Kayla had a sim name for us too? I honestly wouldn't put it past us to all think of the same name. I like that for us. <laughs> I think that's exciting. Okay, we need to find a chair that will complement the vibes pretty well. What if I just do like this? I don't know. Because like yellow is our other color. I just want everyone to be proud of the growth I'm going through right now. This is my growth arc. And I'm being so brave. Forest pronouns are they them. The TV slots. Yeah, it goes up there perfectly. Great minds think alike. It's so true. So true. Oh, this is under green and yellow. What do you think? This could be our rug. We have cats. So. I think it's if it's the vibes. What do you think? I like it. I like it a lot. That too? I can smell it too. I know. It looks real stanky. Okay. What if we had a cute little... Ooh, I actually have... I have an idea. Chat room. Oh, never mind. I was hoping it would like... I don't know what I was hoping it would do. They're the same size rug, Shella. Maybe I can put both of them, though. Is that weird? It's kind of weird. I would have to make this couch a darker color. But I don't think I want to. I think I like it being light. Do we like the yellow? 
Batu. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could scale the the rugs a little bit more closely. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if I'm feeling the rug. Ooh. Forest really likes animals. Maybe we could have this animal rug. They've loved animals their whole life, so it would kind of make sense. And it kind of has the colors we like. Got some yellow and green vibes. I kind of like that. I think it's cozy as well. Okay, we need to get cat stuff really quick before we move forward. Because we do have cats. Why is pets not showing up at all? What is going on? There we go. Okay. Um. Wow, we have a lot of items because we are we have a vet clinic. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I should put this down here. Maybe we'll use that. It's giving grandma corn the best way. I feel like Forest in another life was a grandma. Respectfully. And I think they they accept that, you know? I think they're just like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> it fits their personality so well. Yeah. I kind of like having the cat tree with the window right there. It's a little off center. I kind of like it. Hmm. Maybe a green pet bed right there. They were definitely a cat grandma for sure. Are those open windows? They're not, but don't they look cool? These are from uh Get Famous. I feel like you could easily like open them. In this corner here, I'm thinking maybe we'll put a desk. But I don't know. I just feel like this is a good desk location. It's giving desk energy to me. Like, I smell it. It smells like a desk. Sometimes you just get the vibes from spaces of your house. You know? I'm sure you get it. Oh, isn't that fun? We could do like the leaf chair. It smells like what? A desk. Thanks for the lurk, B. Uh, we also have a, a postcard we could hang up. Ooh. Are there any green and yellow ones? Green and pink. Green and orange. I feel like that pink could almost be a yellow. I don't know. Is that dumb? It's a very peachy pink. I feel like it kind of matches the vibes. I like it. What hair slider mod do I use? A uh, link should be in the chat. Thanks mods. We definitely need a pet calendar. We have a laptop in my inventory, so I will put that there once we Get all of our furniture good to go. Definitely gonna... Actually, I might use the circular one. For this space. Wait. Um, it doesn't have the right yellow that I'm looking for. Like... I'm looking for this kind of brassy gold color and it just doesn't why why would they why would they not make matching yellow brassy metal textures <sighs> I 
It's The Sims. I should have known better. Oh, I should have known better. Is this for a legacy? Yeah, this is my Sims and Bloom family. The whole legacy is uploaded over on my YouTube channel if you want to check it out. Feel free. I'm looking for that blanket basket. This is. That's good vibes. Um. Also, I feel like this is kind of interesting. I might put this above their bed. Matching isn't allowed, honestly. I'm almost caught up on YouTube. Let's go. Let's go. I like the idea of them having a, a blankie basket to get cozy by the fire. Bye. Thanks for stopping in. See you next time. Bye for now. Ooh, this one's good too. Maybe we'll put this one over here. That one's good too. Or should I just use this one instead? Hmm. I don't know. It feels too big. I kind of want to put a bookshelf right here, chat. And I'm wondering if I should use like one of the new bookshelves that they added. One of these bad boys. Because I, I like how these look. I think it's nice. I kind of like it. Bye gamers. See you next time. Kind of giving thrifted vibes too. I think it fits for us really well. Okay, good. I'm glad you like the vibes. I'm trying to do forest justice you know I feel like that's probably the best match I wish I had the talent to build a house in the sims lots of practice my friend you'll get there I promise Shella did not learn how to build overnight no in fact she's been building horribly for years and still does to this day sometimes something nice comes out though and that's what you're seeing right now Oh, man. I was really hoping the books on those shelves were separate clutter in this pack. Yeah, that would have been nice, huh? I'm glad they at least gave us, like, two of the shelves. So that way you, you can have, like, different, or different looking shelves. I think that's nice, but I, I have to agree with you there. <laughs> Loving the Grandma Core vibes. Thank you. Oh, this is so expensive, but this definitely gives me forest energy. The roofs defeat you every time? That's so valid. Roofs are probably, like, the hardest thing ever to build in The Sims. Like, I'm not trying to be dramatic. It's just facts, you know? Okay, we need to figure out... Um, wallpaper in this space I've decided suddenly so I think I want the room to have like a very warm wallpaper type energy but I just don't know exactly which wallpaper that is for us I don't know oh, I don't know oh that's a lot what if I use this one no, it's not giving the vibes I need. This is going to be a difficult one. I feel like that's too much almost. Brick would fit the kitchen vibes nice. Yeah, I think brick is definitely a route we will go down when we get there. Maybe I should just paint the walls plain and then have an accent wall. That's very maximalist. Oh. 
This one speaks to me. I don't know what it is. But I think I like it. I think I like it a lot. <laughs> How do you get the wallpaper on the whole room on console? I honestly have no idea. I unfortunately will not be able to answer any console questions because I have never played The Sims on console. However, if I know the internet, there probably is something very easy you could just Google if you're wanting to know. Because I'm sure a lot of people have probably had the same question as you. Do we like that? The maximalist accent wall? I think it's kind of exciting. It's making me very happy. Thank you for redeeming scritches for Olivia. I quite like it. It's, it's exciting me. Yes, it really pops. I was unsure and then you added the solid green and I really like it too. I like it. I think the birds are nice too. Yeah, it's adding to that forest vibe. I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. I'm wondering if I should maybe tone this down and just have a yellow chair, but no, maybe a dark green one. I need something for this wall. That's a problem we have. What should I put on this wall? Because I put our bookshelf over there. Hmm. Oh, that's awesome, Lily. Gallery wall, a mirror. Oh, we could do a, one of my little... I do this in every house. I take this item here <laughs> and I I turn it into a uh, a mirror situation like suggestion. And then maybe we can put some pictures there because we do have some family photos that we could hang there. I like that idea. I think that will work for us. Oh, and check that out. That's nice. I love this new light. This light, I'm obsessed with her. She could grab me by the throat and I would thank her, this light right here. Yeah, I'm doing my drop stream on Saturday. Yeah, we can put some clutter there for sure, for sure. Okay, I think we have like the bare essentials of this room. So if I'm smart, we're probably going to want to work on the bedroom really quick before we move on any further. Just to make sure I can afford everything. Am I smart though is the question. Yeah, I should probably do it. I'm, I'm planning on this being like the kids room, but... Since we don't have a kid yet, we can just have it be an empty room at the moment. And honestly, it could potentially, we could potentially dress it up as a guest room. And then when our kid is born, it will be their room. What time on Saturday? 5 p.m. Eastern. 5 p.m. Eastern. Okay, bathroom. So I want this to be the accent wall again in here. I kind of love it. Kind of love the vibes. Yeah. Olivia's being extra cute right now. Yeah, she really is. She's like the cutest cat ever, I swear. I feel like every person says their cat is the cutest cat though. So who are you gonna believe, honestly? It's up to you. But look at her. Look at her and tell me you're not obsessed with her. I don't know if I'm going to use that wallpaper. I like it, but I'll have to decide. Not very great windows in the bedroom. 
Uh, exclamation point SIB for Sims in Bloom. If you're looking for the rules. I asked the cute cat council and they agreed Olivia's the cutest cat score. Okay, I need a yellow or green bed. Oh, wow. That is a lot to take in. I do like this one. If I if I use this bed, though, we can't have the maximalist accent wall. So this is a good option for us. It also matches this cactus vibe. So honestly, I might go with it. I think I kind of like it. I feel like our bed should maybe be here. Look at how fun that is. Got a little a little cactus moment. Also, thank you for the follows. Welcome in. Okay. This is a very green house. Um kind of hoping that would match a little bit better. Maybe that rug kind of works. It kind of has like these gold tones in it that I like. Quite like that. Hi, Tony. Super cute. Thank you. Okay, let's get some bedside table moments. Um, bum, bum. Do yellow. I don't think so, though. I don't think so. I'm going to avoid using yellow at all costs. I feel like I already used a lot. I'm so brave. I'm so brave, chat. <laughs> she's so busy, yeah. She's Look, Olivia has a really hard life, okay? She works so hard. She pays the bills. Spider wall. Okay, this one intrigues me. But I don't know if I like the vibes. Oh my goodness. Tiger wall? No, that's too much. Her life is so difficult. She was a nightmare yesterday. Yeah, no, she was actually the worst yesterday. <laughs> She was actually the worst yesterday. What do we think about this as accent walls? Maybe I have to change the screen to something a little more green green, you know? I feel like I don't really have a green green though. Like this 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 uh like i don't have i don't have that dark green that i want unless maybe i just do this and just make this room really dark which i could do but is that too dark that's what i need to know and I feel like that makes this makes it look radioactive. Or we could do this light green. That kind of works cuz I feel like the the leaves have some light green in it. Yeah, I think I think the light green is better too. Okay. We'll go with that then. Okay, loving that. Actually, I'm okay with the blinds. Okay. I don't know if I like the accent wall. I'm having a hard time, chat. I like the leafs, like the leaf energy. That we're getting from these accent walls. White walls. I feel like the white walls would be too plain though. 
I don't know. Oh. Oh, that's kind of soft. Wait. That, like, matches this wall color perfectly. That's kind of nice. I actually really like that. I didn't know that those matched so well. That's good to know. That is one for the noggin chat. Don't forget that. Okay. This is your favorite bed. Nice. I feel like... I don't know. I might have to go with a white color for this to make it work. Or yellow, maybe? Oh, that's not yellow like I thought it was. There, that is. I'm obsessed with the green. It's so pretty. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Okay, uh, we need to figure out what else to do in this room. Um, I'll probably put a dresser over here, I guess. Bedrooms have dressers. I like this bed a lot too. It just sucks that it's such a low quality bed, but maybe we can try to upgrade it. Maybe that can be one of our goals. Here we go. Yellow dresser. Nice. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Thank you. When in doubt, plant corner. So true, honestly. <laughs> so true. I've never heard more true words in my life. I do that all the time. Maybe we can have a little, like, bookshelf with a chair in this corner. Hi, welcome in, Toaster. Thanks for that follow. How are you doing today? I don't know if I'm fully sold on that chair. Um, it does look very comfortable. Oh, but this kind of matches the green a bit better. Kind of like that. <laughs> Again, grandma vibes <laughs> for Forest. <laughs> Poor Forrest is like, I'm literally a young adult. Please stop calling me a grandma. And I'm like, oh, you're so sweet. You're so old. You're so precious. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Yeah, Forrest is going to be living here. This bedroom is giving. Let's go. We can have a little, a little reading light moment. That's cute. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Forest has thrifted granny vibes. They really do. We can also put a cat bed. We have two cats. So what if we put two cat beds in here like that? So our cats can sleep with us if they want to. It's okay. I'm a young adult too. And I consider myself a comfy grandma. I love that. I love that for you. I'm watching your YouTube and your stream at the same time. Thank you. Why does the only green swatch of that chair from Cottage Living have to have stripes? I know, right? <laughs> no, Aster moved out with Shower Chloe. They actually got pregnant and have twins together now. Honestly, shocker of the century. We were all like, <gasps> did not see that coming. Yeah, he lives with Shower Chloe now. Thanks for the lurking. Oh, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. This wall feels very empty and very naked and afraid. But I don't know what to do to help her. So I think I'm going to ignore her. That's how I feel in my heart. Okay. 
this seems like a decent enough bedroom for now. Let's get our shower appliances and stuff. And then honestly, chat, I don't think we can do too much more at the moment because we need to save money in order to have a vet clinic. Like we are spending way too much money right now. And honestly, I don't understand how Shella could mess up so bad on a budget. She's always really consistent at staying on course. So this is shocking. This is shocking and appalling information to me. <laughs> Deanna, thank you for the resub for five months. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, okay. Everything is, everything is going great, actually. I don't think we are in danger at all. Shella over budget? Never. Exactly. I honestly, it's, you really hate to see it. You hate to see it. She's so good about staying on task and on budget. Wow. How the mighty have fallen. <laughs> Thank you for the follows, by the way. Welcome in. Okay. Um, I'm just going to put white wallpaper in these rooms. So these are our, our unfinished spaces. This is going to be another bathroom. This is going to be our future kids bedroom, but we might turn it into a guest room for the moment. And then this is like just a little hallway space. So we can probably find something to put over here later. But I think for now, like that's pretty good for the apartment. Like we got everything we need to live. And I, I like the vibes out here too. Like it's very vibey. But we're down to our last 10,000 simoleons. So should probably start thinking about the vet part. Oh, I need to get cat bowls. Oh my God, you're so right, bestie. I did not get cat bowls. Uh, I guess I can put them over here. It's actually a perfect spot for them. Thank you very much. Perfect. Yeah, we're going to lock this part of the house so that no one else will come up here. I think that's a smart idea for us. I like that better. Okay. I don't know if Force is going to have time to knit, but maybe if they get into knitting in the future, they can. But we're playing The Sims in Bloom Legacy, so Forrest is actually a gamer. So they're going to be spending most of their free time, like, gaming and programming stuff. If that makes sense. They won't really have a lot of miscellaneous time to pick up another hobby. Also running a full-time vet clinic, so... <laughs> oh, that's going to take a lot of time. I'm a little nervous. Maybe I won't put blinds there. Okay. Okay. Oh God, I haven't done anything down here. Oh my God, Shella. Shella! Okay, this can go in both of the exam rooms, I think. Uh, we'll do some wooden flooring. We're, we are gonna put a bathroom down here too. She sucks. <laughs> will this be on the gallery? Yeah, I will put this on the gallery eventually. Um, I don't want to post an unfinished build to the gallery. And I do not think we are going to finish this today. So we might have to wait a little bit because we're running low on money. Ugh, I'm nervous. Also, Catwings, thank you for the Prime Gaming sub chat. You know what that means. Enjoy your emotes. And add free viewing, but most importantly, enjoy your smile for Lil Sheepy as well. Oh my gosh, thank you both so much. The Prime Gaming subs. Let's freaking go. Very good. I can put the litter box over here. This is a good litter box area. Or I could put it on the balcony. <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> uh, thank you both so much. Okay. Um... Veterinarian. 
Vet clinic items. We have to make this place look like it's a vet clinic from the outside. So do we put like a little, a little hey hey hoo hoo vet sign right here? Is that the, is that the right call or do I put the vet sign here? I think maybe I put it here. Wait, that's really cute. That just made me so excited. You have no idea. <laughs> that's so exciting. <laughs> Wait, that's so exciting, you guys. And maybe we can put this like above our door. That says vet clinic. Bring your pets here. What are we doing today? We're building for our not so berry. Or sorry, for our lull. Our Sims in Bloom family. Forest specifically. I don't know if I should put a sign over here. I feel like that's too many signs. Also, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. You should get reimbursed for the vet clinic stuff. Oh no, we have to pay for our own vet office. That's part of the challenge. We got a bunch of our money from um, Kyle Kyleson though. So, you know, there is that. Just to drive it home that this is a vet clinic. Augie, thank you for the first time Prime sub as well. Chat, you know what that means. Enjoy your emotes and ad free viewing, but most importantly, enjoy your new smile. Thank you so much. Y'all are very, very sweet. Thank you for subscribing. I hope you sincerely enjoy all your sub perks. Okay, let's get this roof back to where I want it. You're going to be... There we go. There we go. Perfect. Did we ever finish Casita? Nope. <laughs> nope. We got money from Kyle. Yeah, Kyle moved in with us and had a bunch of money. Didn't their mom win the lottery? Yes. But I don't think mom's going to help us buy a vet clinic. I think that would be boring, you guys. If we just took a bunch of money, you know? I think that sets us up for a boring, boring... Let's play, in my opinion. Ew, I don't want your filthy sinner bits. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you for the 30 bits. I appreciate it. Thank you. Ooh, do we want the green stripe? No, I actually, I hate the green stripe. <laughs> I think that's nice, though. These pillars on the side of it, kind of framing it. If heirs aren't poor, where's the challenge? Exactly. Exactly. No, usually I don't give them any starting capital. So Forrest got lucky. I just thought it wouldn't make any sense for us to not have any money because then we wouldn't be able to start our vet journey because a vet office costs like a decent chunk of money. So uh, old Scheller was thinking... Wow, that'd be really boring. Welcome to the vet generation where we're not even a vet because we're poor. So, Scheller thought it would be fun to start with stuff, you know? All right. I think I want to, like, have a couple items out here that look like treats and stuff. Kind of for sale, but not really for sale. They're kind of just on display. Good thing we won the lottery. <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly. We have some treats up here. 
So if you come to the vet clinic and your pet's a little like scared, you can offer them a treat maybe to help them calm down. I think that's very sweet of us. Yeah, it's in Copperdale if y'all are wondering. That's where the pets go to get better. Does this come in a different color? Oh. There you go. Perfect! Oh, that's weird. You're having fish tank glitches? I don't currently have a fish tank, so I can't really check. Oh my god, we moved out without the fish. I'm gonna have to fix that later. Um. Wow. I just, I just had a realization that I moved out without my fish. That sucks. Why did I do that? I feel like there would be graffiti on this wall. There we go. Thank you for the hype train, you guys. I really appreciate it. Okay. That sucks, though. I wonder if Kyle will visit Forest. We'll have to see. Okay, so this is kind of a little waiting room area. Uh, we need a toilet and a sink in here because this is our little kind of public bathroom space for anyone who brings their pet in so that they can use the bathroom while they're waiting look at how kind we are i'll even provide toilet paper uh i wanted to have a desk down here so that forest as they are a vet would be able to like do their vet research and stuff if they need to. I don't know if we'll be able to afford a computer at the moment. They have a laptop, so technically they could probably just bring their laptop down to their office if they need to. Um, also, aren't there like some items that are like x-ray stuff? Do I get those later on? I think I do. Maybe I should put these around so that people feel a little bit more... comforted that they're coming to a good spot with their animals this is a lot of a lot of work you guys <laughs> this whole thing is a lot of work Looks great though. Yeah, it's gonna all be worth it in the end. Maybe we have some posters in here. This is the vending machine hallway. That kind of leads to the back area just in case if someone's pet needs to go potty outside. Um, I feel like maybe having these like informative posters in here is a good idea for the staff and stuff also there's like some good filing cabinet stuff from get to work that maybe we could use in here to make it look more like a business you know what i mean honestly how much is this desk oh that's a lot i was gonna say maybe we use that but i don't know Oh, this is a treats display shelf. Does this look better than mine? Kind of does. Maybe we have both of them there. Just in case. You never know.
There we go. You have to stock it? Yeah, we're going to have to spend our money to stock it. That's the thing, too. I'm trying to, like, not be completely out of money, but ugh, we'll have to see what happens. Because we're not doing so well at the moment. Where's, like, the filing cabinet stuff? I have to reach level 9 of the detective career for those things. That is so dumb. Those would have been so perfect in this office. That is so annoying, actually. <sighs> it's fine. That's realistic. Oh, we should also have an exit sign. Oh, those are expensive. Oh my god. Shella, stop spending your money on stupid decoration things. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna unlock these like... Oh wait, no, those are not. I thought that these x-ray things were for vets, but apparently they're not. Hmm. I can unlock it with a cheat, but I want to make sure that I unlock the vet stuff for real. So I'm like scared to do the cheat. You know what I mean? I don't want to like accidentally use an item that I don't have access to. Uh, stressful. I guess since we're just starting our practice, this will be a little empty for now. That's fine. Yeah, I want to get them for reals. Okay. Um, These examination rooms don't need to be that nice, but I do want to at least give them a little bit of you know, pizzazz on the wall so it's not so gloomy. I'm wondering, like, what kind of wallpaper I should use to do that. Maybe, maybe this. I have, like, a green one and a yellow one. Yeah, I think that's nice. There's an XJ one for cats and dogs and wall decor, I believe. Uh, let me go to cats and dogs. Wall decor. Oh, there it is. Wait, you're so right. This is very helpful. Thank you. Also, I feel like that chart is something you would see in a vet's office. This is what I was looking for and I couldn't find it somehow. Yay! It had the stuff that I wanted. There we go. Do we want to have both of these since it's diagrams for both? I don't know. I don't know. An x-ray would look cool in the examination room. Oh, that's true. Should I put these over in here? Because this is the... Uh, this is the x-ray machine. So maybe maybe it makes sense that it'd be over there. I'll put them there. That's smart. Yeah, we're like out of money, you guys. Um, <laughs> no pressure, Shella, but you suck. Wow. Wow. Um, you suck at budgeting. So, <laughs> that's how we're already at 700. Okay, maybe the wallpaper in here should be a little bit darker, too, because it's an x-ray room. Isn't there just, like, a black that we can do? Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay, it's going to be, like, we're going to have to earn some money to make our business look a little bit more decorated, but that's like part of the fun of running a business is like slowly being able to improve it, I would say. So I think that's exciting. I think that this is a good start. We have our little waiting room space. We have vending machines. We have a back garden space. We have a bathroom, an office, two examination rooms, and an x-ray room. 
And we have an entire apartment that is mostly done. We just need money to be able to afford another bedroom and another bathroom. So that's pretty good. Yeah, there's a dumpster downstairs. It counts for a trash can, so we should be good. That's I think I think we did a good job today, chat. I also put this up here so I can start growing my death flowers, so. Yeah, I put a litter box uh, right over here for now. This might not be where it stays, but at least for the beginning, this should be a good enough. Good enough. Yeah, this ladder trellis will work. This you will be able to climb to the roof with, which I think is really exciting because we could put something else up here too once we get enough money. I'm thinking a hot tub would be cool up here. I'm not even joking. Like a hot tub would be sick up here. Can you imagine? Eventually some poo poo signs out back for the animals. Wait, what are they called? Poop. Do not poop here. No pooping. And no, no barking maybe? Should I put that out front? Do not let your dog bark in my establishment. Yeah, we can make it like patio space. What is this? Huh. This is for like walking your dog, I guess. Peepers be gone. Oh, that's weird. I've never seen that sign before. People will spy on you. <laughs> what? I've never seen that. Okay. Well, I think that this is pretty impressive, you guys, for a build for today. Forest has a really exciting life ahead of them. Let's assign this bed. Are you playing with your voodoo doll? They pulled out their voodoo doll for one second. Did you see that? <laughs> Hiya. My monthly hire. Hi, Lernal. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. I hope your month has been well. Thank you so much for the resub always. And see you next month. <laughs> lock for everyone but household members. I need to lock both of these doors. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to assign this bed to us. So this is our business, but we, we technically can dwell in this space. Also, I'm calling my cats here. So my cats will be with me too. Look at how exciting this is! You guys, we're doing it! We're starting Gen 2 with Forest. I know we didn't really get a lot of, like, gameplay in today. We did a little bit at the beginning, but we basically have everything set up now so that our baby, our baby Forest can go forth and live their best life. You know what I mean? What if Forest has triplet science babies? Literally, don't even... Do not put that into the universe. I want one baby. If I get twins or triplets, there's going to be a problem. Okay? I don't need you manifesting it. No. I forbid you from manifesting, actually. That's not allowed. So don't even think about it. <sighs> Can I call this something else? Oh, we need to think of a name for our vet clinic, you guys. Maybe we'll do that next time. Hmm. A tour? I can do a tour. Okay. So, this is the build. Uh, we live on this side in this apartment. We'll look at the vet clinic first, though. So, you walk in. We have a little front reception area. We have a hallway that leads to the backyard, which is not a backyard at all. It's just a dumpster. Some vending machines. We could get semi capsules. And then over here we have a bathroom and then an office, two examination rooms and a x-ray room. And then over here we have the apartment, which you walk upstairs and you come into this hallway. We have our living space, which I really like how this living space turned out. I think it's really pretty. Very green, very yellow. 
Uh, over here is Forest's bedroom. Very cozy. And Forest's bathroom. And these rooms, we still have to save up some money to furnish, so. Yeah. <sighs> we'll have to think of a pet clinic name next time. Start thinking, and uh, I don't know, when's my next Sims and Bloom stream scheduled? Because I'm off Thursday and Friday, and then on Saturday, we're doing our super exciting Disney Dreamlight Valley drop stream. So yeah, next Sims and Bloom should be, yeah, Sunday. Yeah. Next Sims and Bloom will be on Sunday, but I'll be back on Saturday for our very exciting drop stream. I'm very excited for that. I hope you all are as well. I'm ready to earn my items. I actually left one of my friend's streams open to earn items, so hopefully I already got them. Because when you are the person hosting the drop stream, you don't get drops. Isn't that crazy? Like, how dare you not give me my drops? <laughs> uh, but this was a lot of fun. I really like the vibes of this build. Honestly. Honestly. I kind of want to post a picture of this. I should have put graffiti over there, too. I just want to get a picture of this. It's good. But yeah. Yeah, I, I would have to open my own stream and watch it. So there's a way to do it. It's just annoying. No, you can link the accounts right now. Um, if you want to do that, uh, I'll put it in the chat for you. The first one is to link your account. And the second one is to look at your drops inventory. So that way you can see if your if your drops are there. But it will also pop up in the Twitch chat whenever you get a drop. It will be like, claim your drop now. So you will you will not miss it as long as you're watching. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be it for today's stream, you guys. This was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And thank you to everyone for the raids today as well. It was a lot of fun. Where's the mailbox? Oh, you don't need a mailbox. It's not a home. It's a business. So I technically live on an empty lot where my bills will go to, but I have auto bills on, so it's just going to pay them. And it will be very cheap too, which is kind of nice. So I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, this was a lot of fun. I'm going to miss you guys. I'm going to be gone for the next two days, but I will still be uploading to YouTube. So make sure you subscribe over to my YouTube channel as well. Also, follow me here on Twitch to make sure you don't miss a stream. My mods just put my socials in the chat if you want to follow me in other places, too. Would love to see you over there. We're getting really close to the big 5-0. The big 50,000. How close are we? Should I look? I'm honestly scared. I think it's going to line up with my stream anniversary, Like, a big shebang. Like, 50,000 followers and four years on Twitch. I'm at 49,116 followers. Oh, less than a thousand. That is scary. Oh! <laughs> okay, yeah. I Honestly, the rate that things are going with this whole Disney drops thing, a lot of people are following me, so we might hit it. It's going to be a big party. I don't think you're all prepared for it, so. Um, also, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. But yeah, we're going to go raid someone. So if you all don't mind sticking around real quick, let's go see who's live. Let's go see who's live. Mm -mm -mm. Um, oh, there's actually a lot of people live right now. That's exciting. Um, God, this is hard. <laughs> I don't know who to raid. Um, I haven't raided my friend Maggie in a while, so I think I might go raid Equippy. I love Equippy a lot, so we'll go say hello. We'll go say hello. There's so many people live. And I can only pick one. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome in. Also, thank you for all of the subs. I really appreciate it. Thank you for supporting me. And thank you for the merch giveaways as well. That was very sweet. Procrast Crafting and Mac. Thank you for giving away merch to the community. 
I was so excited to see that one of my mods won one of the merch drops. Like, that's really exciting. The mods do so much for the community. So very, very exciting. Um, and I can't wait. Rigged? <laughs> it was Kiki. Kiki won. Kiki, which color did you get? Actually, you can tell me in mod chat. I'm going to raid. Um, but thank you all for watching. I love you all so much. And I will see you on Saturday for our big Disney Dreamlight Valley drop stream. Bye for now. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. I don't know what I'm singing. This is my outro. But thanks. See you next time. Love you. Bye.